everybody, so I am here today just doing a review on the Sarissa Precision um, Chateau. And so um, what I'll start with, and I, I use this for bolt action primarily, but it, I think I could easily use this for a number of other games. Um, so what I'll just mention is um, the directions are primarily pictorial. Um, so you get two sheets of paper, black and white. Um, this is just sort of the cover, although it shows you the, you know, the act that it actually has essentially three levels and a patio that you can pull the top off, or I guess it's a rooftop that you can pull the top off to go into the attic. Um, this is the, ex the extent, really, that you're going to get. Um, there's actually a couple of lines here, but the rest is just purely visual. Um, what uh, I noticed is it's really not the greatest um, set of directions, but if you sort of accept that um, you don't really get directions, you know, you don't really get something to follow that's that's very good, and you realize pretty quickly that um, that there will be no step by step going through this, then at least it keeps you on your toes because you, you can just sort of look at everything and then look on the sprue. Nothing on the sprue is actually labeled at all. Um, so it's all very visual as far as putting this together. Now, um, let's see, there was a, a comment actually on my channel um, by one of the viewers that if you actually put, put your door on according to these directions first, that it'll actually um, I believe it's Smitty, um, that, that you could actually have a problem because when you actually put, and I think, I interpreted this comment after seeing this, is that when you put the stairs on, um, essentially if you'd already put the door on, they may not fit, where it actually tells you, I think, to put the doors and the windows on, then to do these stairs. And so I think that that's sort of good advice to put these doors and windows on last, um, at least for each level. That's what I ended up doing, is putting the doors and windows um, last on each level and then moving on to the next level and so um, yeah I guess I guess what I would just say is that uh, you at least know you're not getting good directions but you know and, and so you don't probably won't make too many mistakes from the direction directions written badly <laughs> okay so um, here's the the actual chateau I, I think actually I'm pretty happy with the way it came out I really like the look of it. Um, I like it as much, if not more, in person as compared to um, when I saw it on uh, on the computer, um, you know, at the store. For and I ended up getting this through Warlord because um, they actually will sell it on behalf of Sursa Precision. So things that I've noticed with this is the MDF for this, and I'm just going to take the top off here just to show what I'm talking about. The MDF is actually thinner than the MDF that I experienced with the foreground. So it left me with the feeling of fragility throughout the whole build, um, particularly when it came to this trim and the detail work. I was quite concerned about destroying things um, just by when pulling them off the sprue. Things came off relatively easy off the sprue, although there were some areas with, where the detail itself was as nearly fragile as the breakage points of the sprue. So that had me a little bit worried. Having said that, um, the build itself is much more straightforward and I think easier than the foreground model that I did. And so I would say that it's um, it's uh, fairly straightforward. Um, there are, you know, like anything, opportunities for error, but I think they're less. And the other thing that I did find is, I'd mentioned in another video that I'm kind of new to putting these MDF kits together. For some reason, whether it be the thinness and lightness of this or the actual MDF board itself for this kit, um, it held wood glue very, very well. And so, um, but when you combine the simplicity of the, des you know, the, of the, I won't say the design because I do think some of the trim and everything and like, you know, like the stairs and things are pretty cool, but the general simplicity and straightforwardness of putting together with the, with the lightness of it, um, and the fact that uh, it seemed to adhere well, I had no real issues of things falling apart and, you know, just lots of difficulty with flexing stuff and, and things. It was fairly straightforward. 
Um, so I guess um, what I'll say from that is, you know, it is a um, split level piece. It, it does require some finagling to get the pieces on to sit well. Um, so like in particular with this one, I know I have to fiddle a little bit with it when I take it off to put it back on. Um, but in general, you know, like it, it is fairly bare bones, you know, um, on the inside. You know, it's all of this sort of design is on the outside. Um, what I do like on this particular model, and that actually went in pretty well, just snapped in well. I think part of it is just setting because I just glued this today. I really like the look of um, just the, the the attic where it has these sort of structural pieces on the inside. It really gives you the feel of an attic. Um, but in general, uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about this other than, um, you know, this I viewed as a fairly nice kit in the sense that it's like a more of a luxury kit. It's a chateau, you know, versus just a regular house. And I thought it was fairly reasonably priced. I thought it went together reasonably well. Like, I, I didn't have a lot of headaches. I kind of burned through it pretty quick. As I started getting towards the detail and like a lot of these MDF kits with with the lasered designs and the shingles. I was really getting excited as I was doing it. So I'm actually overall really happy with the kit. I do think that it's more fragile um, than the foreground kit that I have. Like I kind of knocked on the other one pretty confidently in the last video, but this one here, um, you know, I'm gonna be a bit more fragile with. I think it may be not just the fact that it's a Sarissa Precision model, but also the fact that it's a chateau and there's some frilly things on it, like the stairs. Um, I, th I just think that it's probably not, it's, 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 dur it's durable, um, given that it's actually um, just a single thin, thin wall. Um, time will tell with that. You know, I, I definitely wouldn't drop this on the floor. Um, I, I think it would definitely be damaged. I mean, definitely split up into four pieces because it's actually four pieces. But I think there's lots of opportunity, like the, you know, for something like this to to, to break. Um, but let's kind of zoom in, maybe on it a little bit, just so you could see it a bit more up close in certain areas. But but yeah, you know, I I obviously haven't painted it yet, and I guess that's another thing that I'll mention is just um, I don't know yet how it will soak up the primer and the paint, but. I have heard different stories about uh, how MDF uh, soaks up paint. But for some people, um, they really like to be able to paint things their own way. And at times, I am that way. Um, I'm looking forward for this one to paint it. I actually quite liked with my prior model, the foreground, um, having one painted for me because it just you know, it took more time to build it, but uh, but it was already done as far as when I was finished painting it. So, um, so yeah, this is sort of the the bolt a action, um, or what I'm using for bolt action. I think it's geared towards it, um, French Chateau. I think it'll look really, really good on a field once it's painted with other kind of cool things like hedges and just different stuff like. I wanted to sort of use it as a commandeered, uh, you know, officer commandeering a house, you know, on out in the the French countryside, and so um, I think it's going to fit that really well. Um, would I uh, get another building from from Sarissa Precision? Absolutely. Um, I think it really will depend a lot on how fast you want to build your town or whatever it is you're doing, and how much money you want to spend. I think given that this one required a lot of extra stuff, you know, I think I could burn through a number of houses on these and I could get them done pretty quick. I'll have to paint them. Um, but even maybe for a, a plain house that might be more monotone, I'm planning on doing some variation of, in the levels of color from the roof to the, the brick level to the, you know, sort of the regular house level. Um, so I think it's really going to depend on what you want, but I think from an affordability perspective, you know, you really want to put a few houses um, together, you know, create a nice street scene. Um, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck out of this. Just, you know, I think, so it'll require a little bit extra painting time, a lot less building time, and then, you know, you'll actually get it, I think, at a good price. Um, the only, and, and then the durability sort of remains to be seen, just depending on how rough people are. 
at the table that you play at, um, or the folks you play with may may alter your price. Your, I mean, may alter your decision too. Having said that. I know that there are a lot of um, light plastic buildings that are coming out too that I think this would probably more be more durable than and so um, I don't want to give it a too bad of a wrap in that when you compare it to maybe some non MDF products maybe it holds up even better so um, okay so um, that's just sort of my review a fairly simple review for I think a nice building but a, you know a fairly simple build in my mind um, and, and in some ways that's refreshing for me because um, I don't want to spend a month putting a building together. So, <laughs> okay, take care everybody. Thanks for watching.